Michelle Mikombero was a Burundian politician and army officer who ruled the country as its first president and de facto dictator for the decade between 1966 and 1976. Mikombero was born in Rutovu, Bururi province in Belgium, ruled Rwanda, Urundi on August 26, 1940. His parents were peasants of Hima ethnicity, part of the wider Tutsi ethnic group. Mikombero studied at Catholic mission schools in Burundi and, in 1960, joined the Burundian military, which was being formed ahead of the planned independence in 1962. As part of his training, he was sent to study at the Royal Military Academy in Brussels, Belgium, to train as an officer. At the time of independence of the Kingdom of Burundi in July 1962, he held the rank of captain. In early post-independence Burundi, the Tutsi-dominated monarchy of Mwambutsa IV attempted to balance the interests of Tutsi with those of the Hutu majority. In 1963, Mikombero joined the ruling Union for National Progress Party, which, though dominated by the Tutsi, also tried to attract Hutu members. In June, Mikombero was named State Secretary for Defense making him head of the military at the age of 23. In October 1965, a group of ethnic Hutus in the army and police attempted to overthrow the Burundian monarchy. The attempt, though unsuccessful, led to Mwambutsa IV fleeing into exile. Mikombero led the repression against the coup's perpetrators. He rose to prominence for his role in helping to crush an attempted coup in October 1965 by ethnic Hutu soldiers against the country's monarchy. In July 1966, a second coup brought the king's son Tari IV to power and suspended the national constitution. However, when Tari was on a state visit to the neighboring Republic of Congo in November 1966, a third coup abolished the monarchy and a republic was proclaimed on 28th November. The first coup forced the incumbent king into exile, propelling Mikombero into the role of prime minister. The second abolished the monarchy itself, bringing Mikombero into power as the first president of the new republic of Burundi. As a colonel, Mikombero took power as the country's first president on 28 November 1966. As president of Burundi, Mikombero ruled through the Uprona as a one-party state. His ideology of democratic centralism brought all of the country's institutions and the media under the regime's control. His regime combined ideas from the socialist ideology of Tanzania with other doctrines from Joseph Desire Mobutu's regime in the Democratic Republic of Congo, known as Zaire after 1971. Mikombero ruled Burundi as a military dictator from 1966. He led a one-party state which centralized the country's institutions and adopted a neutral stance in the Cold War. As a Cold War leader, he was able to play off both communist and western powers against one another. Mikombero became increasingly paranoid after suffering an injury in a road accident in 1967. He was widely believed to be an alcoholic. Various plots against the regime were discovered and unrest remained. A rebellion broke out amongst the Hutu and Rumonge in the south at the encouragement of the Tanzanian regime and spread rapidly. In subsequent ethnic violence, as many as a thousand Tutsis were killed. The response of the Mikombero regime was to launch a campaign of genocidal violence against the Hutu in the region in which a hundred thousand people are thought to have been killed. The deposed King Tare, said to have led the rebellion, was murdered. His base of support became increasingly restricted to Tutsi in the northern and central regions of Burundi. In 1973, after further violence, Mobutu was forced to intervene to prevent Tanzanian invasion. Following the end of the crisis, Mikombero introduced a new constitution allowing him to run for a further seven-year term. He also laid the foundation for the economic community of the Great Lake countries the same year, along with the governments of Rwanda and Zaire. In November 1976, 
opponents led by Colonel Jean Baptiste Bagaza led a successful coup against Mkombero's regime. Mkombero himself was arrested and a second republic was declared under the dictatorship of Bagaza, which would last until 1987. Although a Tutsi and a participant in the killings of 1972, Bagaza made concessions to the Hutu majority and made some progress towards modernizing the Burundian state until he too was deposed in 1987. Mikombero was exiled from Burundi in 1977. He took up residence in Somalia, then ruled by dictator Siad Bare, who was a close friend. He gained a degree in economics from the University of Somalia in 1982. He later died of a heart attack in 1983.